Hello! In this figure, we have a yellow circle with the diameter AB. Inside this circle, we have two equal green circles and a blue circle. If the radius of the blue circle is 10 units, then what is the diameter of the yellow circle? To solve this problem, notice that if we could find the radius of one of these green circles and we multiply it by 4, then we will get the diameter of the yellow circle. So, let's start by connecting the center of the blue circle with the center of one of the green circles. We will also connect the center of the blue circle with the center of the yellow circle. And now we have a right triangle. In this triangle, the top side is the radius of the green circle, and let's call it x. The hypotenuse connects the centers of two externally tangent circles, therefore it passes through the point of tangency. So, if the green circle has the radius x and the blue circle has the radius 10, then the hypotenuse will be x plus 10. Now, what about the right side? This side will be 2x minus 10. And this is because if the radius of the green circle is x, then the radius of the yellow circle is 2x. So, if we connect the center of the yellow circle with this point of tangency, then this distance will be 2x. And now, to find this side of the triangle, we will take the radius of the yellow circle, which is 2x, and subtract the radius of the blue circle, which is 10. Then this side will be 2x minus 10. Now, once we have an expression for each side of the triangle, let's apply the Pythagorean theorem. We will write that x squared plus 2x minus 10 squared equals x plus 10 squared. So again, x squared plus 2x minus 10 squared equals x plus 10 squared. Now, to remove these parentheses, we will use the formulas for the square of a sum and a square of a difference. So here we have the square of a difference, and the formula is a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So then, on the left side, we will bring down x squared plus, and now 2x squared is 4x squared minus, next we need 2 times a times b, which is 2 times 2x times 10, and that makes 40x. Then 10 to the second power is 100. Now, on the right side, we will use the formula for the square of a sum. The formula is a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Then, according to this formula, on the right side, we will have x squared plus 20x plus 100. Now, let's cancel x squared on both sides and 100 on both sides. And now we will have 4x squared minus 40x equals 20x. Let's get all the terms to one side by subtracting 20x. And now we will have 4x squared minus 60x equals 0. From here, we will use factoring, and we will factor out 4x. Then inside the parentheses, we will have x minus 15. Then in this product, 4x can be 0, or x minus 15 can be 0. We will ignore the first equation because x cannot be 0, and in the second one, x equals 15. So, we found x, and now to find the diameter ab, we will multiply x by 4. So, ab equals 4 times 15 
which equals 60. So the diameter of the yellow circle is 60 units. Thank you for watching.